Ladies and gentlemen, I am Draco Thuban, and welcome to Let's Play Loom. If you want backstory on this game, I will have a link on this video to take you to the 30-minute audio drama that is available. It originally came with the game, but uh, unfortunately, uh, it's a lot of backstory to uh, have to learn uh, for this game. So I'm not going to bore you with all that. Uh, however, I will clue you in on the main characters, your mother, Lady Cigna. She was banished because she wove a gray thread into the loom which created you. Hetchel raised you. Your name is Bobbin Threadbear. Atropos, Lachesis, and Clothos are the elders. You are all part of the Guild of Weavers. You weave drafts, which are magic spells, that consist of four notes. I don't know why weaving and everything got mixed in with music, but it explains a little bit in the audio drama. So we're just going to go ahead and get started here. Please choose your skill level. Oh, -ho. expert. Welcome to the age of the great guilds. Well, thank you. Anywho, this is the uh, introduction title screen thing. I wish I could skip it, but if I skip it, you're going to miss the first part with Bobbin, so I'm not going to. But instead, I'll talk a little bit about what's going on. When Bobbin's thread was weaved into the, the pattern, it started creating destruction within the pattern. And the elders don't know why. So they stopped him from learning any kind of magic. Forbade it. However, Hetchel decided she was going to teach him how to weave drafts on her own. You'll see the consequence for that momentarily, and the consequence for pretty much anything that you do wrong in the guild. Rise, son of Sigma. It is the dawn of your 17th year. The elders await you in the sanctuary. I've never known to weave such a bright messenger nymph. I wonder why the elders want to see me. I'd better get down to the village. I'm going to keep my commentary down to a minimum during the uh, voice acting parts, and uh, I will have text, on-screen text, so you can see that. The last leaf of autumn. So that you could just watch this game without sound and still know what's going on. In case, in case you get sick of me, I guess. But don't get sick of me. That's not nice. Anywho. We're heading down to the elders now. We gotta go see what they want. It is a point-and-click adventure game. It is from uh, Lucasfilm Games, which uh, is LucasArts, back before it was LucasArts. And it is a very serious game. It is not like the Monkey Island series or anything like that. It's uh, relatively short, and it's relatively easy. The hard part is, if you're tone deaf, it's very hard to learn the spells. There's the long tapestry. The threads describe the creation of the world, and the passing of the two shadows. Hmm. Let's see if we can't slow down that subtitles a little bit. Let's see if that helps. Shall we? Now to use anything, you'll click on it up here, and then you click on it down in the box. Pretty simple. Here's more of the tapestry. The pan shows the entire history of the weavers, back to the founding of the great guilds. All right. Moving on. last section tells about the decline of the guilds. There's a third shadow gathering. That's strange. The end is completely torn off. Okay, that might be a little bit too slow. Let's try that. Okay, that should be good. 
So anyway, that's the long tapestry. It tells about the past, present, and future. And here's the elders. Let's see what they have to say. There's Hitchell. And the elders don't look at all pleased with her. You have heard the findings of this council, Dame Hitchell. Have you anything to say in your own defense? My elders, my actions speak for themselves. This reckless defiance is intolerable. Any secret you share with Signa's son might be turned against us. His talent is awakening, and the power is very strong in him. We dare not desert him now, stubborn old fool. Who are you to decide such things? Enough, Lachesis. Hetro. I am grieved to see your many years of service end in such disgrace. My destiny is yours to weave. Hetchel, the fabric of your life has been woven by your own choices. Gaze once more upon the great gloom, if you would know your ultimate destiny. For that destiny is now upon you. Well, that is the first draft of the game. High CFGC. A swan's egg. What does it mean? Something is deeply wrong. That draft has never failed before. What is that noise? Outside. The guild is under attack. Who dares to desecrate the great loom of the weavers? This is the work of that demon boy. We should kill him while we still can. Your name will be cursed forever. Son of Signa, Loom Child, Bobbin Friend. My name? But I had nothing to do with this. Wait, where are you going? No explanations. No goodbyes. And once again, I'm left behind. All right. So, now you've got the loom here, and you've got the distaff. The distaff is what you use to weave drafts. It's heavier than it looks. So let's figure out how to weave drafts. You have three, well, you start out with three notes on the distaff. You've got C. It might help to point at something first. Let's point at the loom, then. How about that? you got to point at something. You have to have something clicked on to, in order to cast anything. But anyway, you've got your C, D, and E. You eventually get F, G, A, B, and high C. Now you can use them by clicking on the different parts of the distaff, or you can press the corresponding button on your keyboard. Now, drafts are four notes long, as we saw with the uh, transcendence draft, which was what turned her into a swan's egg. It's actually supposed to turn her into a swan. Okay, so let's see what we got here. No, it said, it, it sang with E, C, E, D. That's your open draft. Now, if you reverse that and do D, E, C, E, that's the closed draft. Voila. There's a lot of them in that game, a lot of reversals and stuff like that. We will open the egg next time on Let's Play Loom.